Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, August 13th, 2021. Topic, Spiritually Bankrupt. Memory verse, Luke 12, 21. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Luke 12, 21. Bible reading, Romans 8, 1 to 8. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God, sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. The message. People believe that the poor are automatically candidates of heaven, hence they are blessed. This is a misconception of what Jesus meant in his Sermon on the Mount, according to today's Bible reading. No matter how poor or rich a person may be, if he or she is not reconciled with God through Jesus Christ, such a person cannot make heaven. The Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth, told John 2. The truth is that whether a man is rich or poor, he or she will make it to heaven only if the admission condition is met. What is this condition? Jesus Christ said to Nicodemus, in John 3, 3, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Spiritual bankruptcy could mean that a person is not born again, that the fellow lacks what it takes to please God, that is, faith in the Son of God. Hebrews eleven six. Spiritual bankruptcy could also mean that the fellow lacks the fruit of the Spirit and would therefore fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Galatians 5, 16-23 When a person is spiritually bankrupt, the fellow will be ruled by sin rather than the Spirit of God. The Bible further says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10 the woes of being spiritually bankrupt, however, are many. A spiritually bankrupt fellow will not be able to receive answers to his or her prayers according to Isaiah 59, 1-3. The fellow will become easy prey for the devil according to 1 Peter 5, 8. Such a fellow will not have spiritual insight into the future and thus walk into avoidable dangers. 
The solution to spiritual bankruptcy is new life in Jesus Christ. Beloved, give your life totally to Jesus today if you are still a sinner. If need be, rededicate your life to God for spiritual guidance and breakthrough. He will receive you. Prayer point. Father, please help me to live in abundance spiritually, physically, materially, and maritally in the name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 96 to 98. Theme for today. In Christ alone. The open heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.